Hello everyone, it's Brittany checking in, filling in for my big bro, Freddie Causey. Today I'll be coming from a coming from Deuteronomy the fifteenth chapter, and I'll be reading verses six through eleven. And if I had a subject or title for these scriptures, it will be "Thou shalt not borrow, but lend." And I'm gonna go go ahead and get right on into these scriptures. And it says, the sixth verse, Deuteronomy fifteen and six. It says, "For the Lord thy God blesses thee." As he promised thee, and thou shalt lend unto many nations, but thou shalt not borrow, and thou shalt reign over many nations, but they shall not reign over thee. If there be among you a poor man of one of thy brethren within any of thy gates in thy land, which the Lord thy God giveth thee, thou shalt not harden thine heart, nor shut thine hand from thy poor brother. But thou shalt open thine hand wide unto him, and shalt surely lend him sufficient for his need in that which he wanteth. Beware that there be not a thought in thy wicked heart, saying the seventh year the year of release is at hand and thine eye be evil against thy poor brother and thou give him naught and he cry unto the lord against thee and it be sin unto thee thou shalt surely give him and thine heart shall not be grieved when thou giveth unto him because that for this thing the Lord thy God shall bless thee in all thy works and in all that thou puttest thy hand unto. For the poor shall never cease out of the land. Therefore I command thee, saying, Thou shalt open thine hand wide unto thy brother, to thy poor, and to thy needy in thy land. Okay, so I'm going gonna go back up to the sixth verse. Um, I'm gonna get I'm gonna say so pretty much it's saying the Lord will bless thee as He promised. Um, pretty much He will bless you as He promised if you you know do keep do and keep His commandments. And if you do and keep the Lord's commandment, He will bless you as He promised. And He pretty much saying that. His, the type of blessing he's going to give you is he's going he gonna to make sure that you don't have to borrow. He's going to make sure you be able to lend to many nations and that you will reign over. He will make sure that you be able to reign over many nations, that they those nations will not reign over you. And he said, if there be, uh, you know, any among in the seventh verse saying, if there be any among you, uh, a poor man of among you, of your brethren and that are within your gates, or whatever, or wherever you live, or or just in your, it could be in your family, or it, it just, or in your church family. It just depends. Uh, it it's pretty much saying the Lord saying that um, God and that you shouldn't harden your heart and 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 just continue to see them being poor or not having, being in want and in need. You you shouldn't just sit there and just keep allowing them to continue to look poor and not have anything. All right, moving to the eighth verse, and Lord Primer saying, "Open." He wants you to open your hand. He wants you to help that brother if they need need money or if they need clothes to be put on their back, if they need shoes on their feet. He's saying you need to open your hand and help them. If you got it, and he done bless you to have have something, then you need to be blessing somebody else that made that's in need of it. And moving on to the ninth verse, it says, Beware that there be not a thought in thy wicked heart, saying, The seventh year, the year release is at hand, and then and thine eye be evil against thy poor brother. Just because it comes to the seventh year or the year release, you shouldn't uh, harden your you shouldn't close your hand up and not want to help your brother that's that's poor. And 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 if this poor brother end up having to go to the Lord crying because you won't help them, then that's going to be sin unto you. God going to count it being sin towards you because you're not helping your brother who's poor. 
now moving to the temper, it said, Thou shalt surely give him. You need to give him. And thine, and when you give, you shouldn't be grieving because you had to help someone that's poor. You shouldn't be grieving about that. Because God took time. He blessed you. When you was down, he helped you. So you should help someone else. That's poor. And um, I'm going to continue to read. Thou shalt surely give him. So you got to give him. And thine heart shall not be grieved when thou give unto him. Because that for this thing, the Lord thy God, he will bless thee in all thy works. And in all that thou puttest thine hand to. So if you help someone else who's supposed to be poor, then God can't help but to hit God going to come back and bless you by whatever you set your hand to. He going to bless it. Because you helped that poor brother who was in need. That was among you. All right, moving to the 11 verse, it says, For the poor shall never cease out of the land. There's going to always be somebody in the land that's poor. So therefore, he's com the Lord commanded us, saying, Thou shalt open thy hand unto them. So you mean you need to help them. If they poor or in need in your land, you need to help them. And that's really all the message the Lord gave me, that it, you, should, you shouldn't have to borrow. You, sh you should be able to lend and not borrow. And um, that, and if you see a brother that's in need, then you should help them. And when you help them, don't be, you shouldn't be feeling grieved in your heart because you helped that person. Cause I mean, if you, I mean, that's all I really get, can say. Like, don't be grieved. Don't have any grieving or in your heart or, or hatred in your heart because you gotta help somebody who's in need. And that's all. That's all I got for today. And <laughs> that's all I have for you all today. You all stay safe and be blessed. And I hopefully I may see you on the next go as my bro always say. Peace out. <laughs>